I'm about to start this A C V vinegar rinse on my locks to get a very good clean. This is how my locks look right now. As you can see this one broke off. Remember I shaved my locks back here and it's going back. And I don't know if I want to keep my locks yet, so I don't know if I want to relock that. But this is how it looks right now. It's not really dirty. I don't think, well, at least I don't think they are. The only reason why I'm doing this is because of my scalp is itching really, really bad. And um, I just want to make sure that I clean my locks at least on a every two to three week basis. So I'm about to warm. I'm going to use this sink, I'm going to seal it off, I'm going to run some warm water, and I'm going to see, depending upon how dirty the water gets, I might only, I might only have to do this once or twice. I'm going to have, I forgot my lavender shampoo in my uh, shampoo collection, so I'm going to have that brought to me so you guys can see that lavender shampoo. Um, it's in my room. So I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to put the, this is just pure baking soda. And again, I'm not measuring any of this. It's like it's hard to come out. Um, this is the Brad's. ABC vinegar rinse. All right. Pour that in there. You can see it bubbling a little bit. Put some more baking soda. There we go. All right. You see the bubbles? Bubble, bubble, bubble. And you guys see how the water is right now? I'm going to take off my watch. This is going to be a very awkward position, but I'm going to try to put my head in the bowl. I'm going to wrinkle this around though. Make sure it's all in there. And I can hear it's sizzling. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. And I'm going to start probably try to do one side and the other side. I don't know. Or I'm going to just dunk my head in there. Here we go. You may see the water turn blacker than usual because I dyed my hair uh, blue black. So the dye may strip off too because of the vinegar and the baking soda. But you should also see dirt. Take my head out of the bowl. Um, I don't. It looks pretty dirty to me. Um, this is going to be the shampoo that I use when I wash it. But anyway, um, let's get another set of warm water going. It up. Let's get our vinegar in there. And again, I'm not measuring anything, I'm just pouring. Let's get the, you see the bubbles. And I think we're not going to do too much this time, you know, the second time. 
All right. Here we go again. Because I'm trying to get my scalp, the itching to calm down. I'm squeezing my locks. See if I can squeeze any built up product out. This is how it's looking again. If y'all wanna see how my locks are looking. To me, the, the water still looks dark. I don't know if that's because my hair is dyed or if it's that that switch there i have never did an ac uh v rinse since i've been locked and i've been locked for two years i decided to only do it twice i'm gonna go ahead and just start washing my hair y'all use this I can see it lathers up pretty good. But I'm rubbing it down the lot. Squish some of the lot so I can get really in that lot. Especially the ones that were showing product, like up here. I'm really trying to get in that lot. Hopefully this calms my scalp, y'all. Do the same on this side. Put it through there. You can see I'm really trying to get my locks clean. I'm really trying to get them clean. I hope I got it. Y'all can see, but I can't. And I don't really want to put my head back down in this bowl. So I hope all the soap is out. It ain't out in the front. All right, I'm gonna try to wring some of this water out. All right, I'm gonna get my oil bottle. I always like to put oil in my hair when my hair is wet. Or warm. Oh yeah, that's a lot of work. All right, I'm gonna step away to go get this oil bottle. I'll be right back. Even though it says lock twist oil, that's not what's in here. What's in here is vitamin E oil, uh, rose essential oil, and uh, tea tree oil, and olive oil. So, I, you notice I keep my hair part down the middle. So, I'm going to just put the oil just like that down the middle. And then I'm going to go line by line to just put it in my scalp. Um, I seal in my oil. Some of y'all might not recommend this, but I use olive oil moisture. Um, it's in a green bottle. 
It's moisturizer. I use that on my son's and my daughter's loose natural hair. And I do put that in my lock, in my scalp. I don't put it, I don't rub it down my locks. I put it in my scalp because again, when I was loose natural, my hair was low proxy and it, it wouldn't hold any moisture. So when I put this oil in, I be want to seal the oil with uh, a moisturizer. Still put it in the bag. As I can see, I'm out. So I'm gonna massage all that oil in. Oof. All that water just going in my face. Oof. I'm gonna massage all that oil in. I'm looking to see if there's any buildup still in my lock. What I'm thinking I want to do is grow my locks until it get to a lot of new growth because I really, really want sister locks. The green olive oil moisturizer in the green bottle with the black top. I really want sister locks. So I think, you see how I already took this off? I think instead of combing my locks out because I did try to comb my locks out and it was so much shedding, it was like a string of hair left. And I don't like that. I want healthy locks. So instead of doing a complete big chop, I'm going to I'm gonna wait till I get a lot of new growth in my locks. Then I will big chop. And then the new growth that I have left, that's what I'm going to use to start my sister locks. So yes, guys, I will be starting over. In the meantime, my goal is to take care of my new growth. So when you see me putting stuff like this in my hair, you may be thinking, oh, this is going to get trapped in my locks. Well, I'm going to cut my locks off anyway. I'm trying to take care of my new growth so I will have healthy hair. So when I start my sister locks and I do a big chop, I'm only going to chop off the lock and keep the healthy new growth to start a healthy set of sister locks. So this is what I put in my hair to seal. Let me make sure it's open to seal in the moisture. Um, and it works for me. Even when I had locks, um, when I had locks, I still have locks. Even when I um, kept this in my hair, even with my locks now, as you guys can see, um, well, from the water, you just saw it really black. But in my opinion, my hair didn't feel, it doesn't feel heavy at all with this. Um, and it don't get trapped in my locks. As you can see, the only front two had that, um, has that, color or I don't know I think it's from the edge control it's not from this because when I put this in it's like a daily moisturizer really and it it goes away and again my focus is just on my scalp I don't rub it down the lock as you can see when I'm putting it in I'm really just focused on my scalp when I say this calms my hair from itching y'all my hair don't itch Now in the back, I do rub it all over. All right, so I'm going to just massage that in, my hair. So massage it in. Because I'm trying to trap that oil that I put in my hair. That's all I'm trying to do. So I'm massaging that in. Massage, 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 massage. And I'm just massaging with this. All right, then I take my brush and I try to minimize this frizz as much as I can. Yep. As you guys see, I do brush. The brush is soft. Sometimes I take it down all my locks. This time I'm only taking it down my whole lock because I wash my hair. And it's a lot of frizz. I'm not retwisting. Again, the goal is to just take care of the new growth. Uh, I'm going to get back here.
Let's see the side, see what I'm doing. See how the frizz is tame now? And look what this lock, just so y'all can see. This is coming from the new growth of the lock. I'm looking on the floor and see if I lost the lock. And I did not. So it's all new growth. They grew out of the lock. All right. So after I do that, my hair is so thick to tame the new growth. I got to use this small, this long of a um, clip. So I go like this, and I just clip down my new growth. <laughs> See, I do that. I do the same to the other side. All right, see how it's tame, less frizz, and sometimes I use more than one pen. So this is the second pen. And I think I'm gonna put this second pen on this side, I normally use two pins. I feel like it's thicker than this side. So this side, I'm gonna use a second pin. All right. So, I see my hair is clean. I did the AC vinegar rinse. I'm turning my frizz is kind of tame to the best of my ability for my hair. And see how it is in the front? Tamed. This is no gel. This is nothing but oil and moisturizer. This is the moisturizer. Y'all saw what I used for the AC vinegarants. And that's it. Um, this is basically what works for me. My hair feels very clean. It doesn't feel weighed down when I put this in. Again, it's a daily moisturizer. So it's really, it's really, really light. Um, the first ingredient says water. Um, so what does that tell you? It's really like, as you can see, it does probably look like, it can look like I did, I used edge control and I didn't. I only use oil and water. Now I am going to put some castor oil up here because castor oil helps my hair lay down even more. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like subscribe and comment if you have any questions or suggestions about a easier way for me to transition from traditional these are not really traditional these are micro locks to sister locks if you have any advice to give me that's positive not negative and um that will prevent me from losing a lot of my hair besides chopping these locks off when i get enough new growth i'm all ears otherwise I have no problem with chopping off my locks and, and when I get the new growth that comes in. I know I may be looking a little crazy for a few months, but that's what hair wraps are for. That's what headbands is for. I don't know. Keep my brows on point. Put some lashes on. I'll be fine. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Bye.